Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's TA because we could be in here for the end of this boring sideways moving even though we are still in these liquidation hunts. As you can see yesterday late night we had this big week to the upside when we broke out from this uh, wedge and then immediately we had another week to the downside. So this was almost a 5% difference here from the top to the bottom and at the end we retraced exactly here back where we were trading in the last couple of hours before the breakout so in my opinion it is still very dangerous to trade currently because we are seeing these big pumps and dumps so even if you are trading right now make sure also to put a stop loss in profits as soon the trade is going into your direction because waiting here for the decisive breakout and the decisive move to the upside or downside could be still waiting here for more days or weeks but currently it looks like that we are seeing some first moves where we could be heading and next also here in bitcoin because as you can see here all these red numbers these are stocks so the stock market currently is doing pretty bad we have the futures here in the s p which are dropping down so we are not only losing here the previous support of this wedge that we were in currently but also we are breaking here some important and support lines especially here the 3140 level so in case that today we're gonna close here below this level I think we could be seeing here a major waterfall to the downside in the S&P and of course this could also infect the crypto space so we have to go also in the higher time frames to see where we are at right now also in the stock market but at least here in the lower time frames like here the one hour it looks like that we're getting already oversold here in in the stock markets on Bitcoin currently we have only the stochastic oversold RSI is just starting to trade below the 50 and also the 20 moving average so far is giving us resistance so maybe on Bitcoin we still have to see here some more dumps here same like we are seeing right now in the stock market possibly down here to the main support of around $9,100 but at the moment it's quite holding strong here above $9,800 which could be a bullish sign but as soon as we're gonna lose it I think it's almost guaranteed that we will go down at least to test here the main support only if we're gonna lose here this $9,100 area here then I think we could be in here for a bigger dump maybe that dump that I'm waiting for for quite some time now because as I told you I think we could see a final dump not only in the stock market but also in the crypto space before we're really starting to take off um, and if we go over to the Bollinger Band also here you can see that currently we're trading in the lower part here so in theory we could drop easily towards 9700 again and also the MACD is now shifted to the downside so in theory now we are shifted towards our main support first if we break here this 9740 then here this $9,100 and if we go over to the 4 hour here you can see that currently we're getting saved from the 20 moving average in the 4 hour so here also everything is still okay we are currently also above the 50 level in the RSI stochastic could coming down here from being overbought so let's see how we're gonna close the next couple of four hour candles and if we go over to the four hour time frame in the Bollinger Band here also you can see that we came straight back down into the middle area and currently we're seeing a bounce so now we should see a bigger bounce here towards the main resistance again here of $9,900 otherwise if we continue to trade here in the middle area we could have also here in the MACD a bearish cross and also here we could drop here in the lower part of the Bollinger Band so we could drop in theory down to $9,600 very easily and if we go over to the daily time frame here you can see that we're still above the 20 daily moving average yesterday also we tested it and currently it is possible that we go down again to retest it at $9,600 and as you can see we tested it already many times so I think it is possible that maybe we're gonna break this moving average pretty soon especially if we're not seeing a big bounce to the upside uh, from uh, it and also the RSI is right at the 50 stochastic is coming down into oversold conditions so in theory we should see a big bounce to the 
upside coming up pretty soon also if you go over to the bollinger band here also we are right in the middle area we are in a very critical point so if we're gonna lose these main supports then we could be dropping here very easily again towards 9500 even down to 9k and lower also here based in the bollinger band we could easily drop towards 8700 dollar without a problem so that would be a 1000 dollar drop and of course if you would short that drop you would make a lot of gains if you go with the leverage in and if we have a look also on the S&P currently here in the daily, you can see that we were overbought. So retracement back down maybe to the 20 or 200 daily moving average is possible because we were overbought for quite some time. And also if we go over to the futures here, also you can see that it will be very important that we're gonna close above 3,140 today. If we're gonna drop below here and test the 20 or 200 daily moving average, we could get in trouble here also in the S p so in theory we should see a big bounce from these moving averages down here but if we're going to continue to drop below then i think all this rally that we have seen so far is denied and we're going to retrace back down here towards uh, one of these fib lines here i guess somewhere down here at the 0.618 fib line at around 2560 dollars somewhere around there before we potentially see another big uh, leg up only if we would drop here below this low here so below 2170 also here in the stock market in the s p 500 i think also in the crypto space we could see a really big dump incoming before we really start to take off but so far everything is still okay so it's really depending how we're gonna close today and also the next couple of days if we're gonna drop here in this area in the s p 500 towards three thousand dollar and if you go back to Bitcoin and open up the weekly time frame here, also it, it is still looking bullish, but also here a retracement back down towards the 50 or 20 weekly moving average at around 8,500 is very possible. Bitcoin likes to retest these moving averages very much. So it is possible that we go down here first to retest and then have this big bounce to the upside and potentially also break here the main resistance currently at around $10,300. And if we have a look also in the Bollinger Band in the weekly here, it is still looking very bullish. We're trading in the upper area, MACD shifted to the upside. And also here, we could even drop down here into the middle area between 8,840 and 8,330. If we're gonna close the weekly candle above these price levels, everything is still okay and we are still shifted to the upside. So as I told you guys, be ready for all scenarios. Make sure that you're also ready to trade if you want to take advantage with a short or with a long, with the next bull run or with the next dump. So in any direction you can gain some money and that's why be ready for everything currently it is really hard to trade i know but also in these times it is possible to win and also of course if you want to take a break of trading is the perfect time because currently it is really risky to trade but when it's so risky it is the time when you can make the most gains and remember that we have currently a 100 dollar extra bonus going on on bybit so if you already signed up with my link over on bybit or you're still in an account use the link that you find down below here in the video description for bybit because not only you can get these 90 dollars that you anyway get when you sign up with my link but right now if you put a deposit of 0.2 Bitcoin so your first deposit must be at least 0.2 or more and you will get within three days $100 extra added into your Bybit account and this is valid only till the 20th of June so make sure to use this $100 bonus and register right now to Bybit it's the best exchange in my opinion I'm always using Bybit to trade and if I have to open up multiple accounts I also use Femex that's another exchange where you also can trade gold for example here with my sign up link you can get $72 completely for free and with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now remember also to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome shout out to all to you people and I'm doing the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join the twitch channel you find all the links down below in the video description so go ahead and check them out all right guys thank you very much for watching and we we'll see us all in the next one bye <music>